Okay, ace queen, big spot. Well, uh, the sizing. I really don't like the fact that Xavier just gets it in. He has been playing so tight unless he just picked up constant bad hands. I really don't like this, but uh, I think we got to gamble. Ace, queen, jacks, no. Oh, it's not good. Just a 10. Uh, all but out of this 1K now. Over in the 525. Uh, opened up jack nine suited. Small blind is, oh, wow. I guess we just have to go with this one. Nice, he folds, that's the, the important thing. 9-8, okay, we've still got a lot of outs. The heart brings us more outs now for the river. Come on, red. Yes, wow, we get there. I've run very well in this tournament, no complaints here. Jack-9 again. Let's hope to get lucky-lucky. Probably could just get it in with his bouncy. Prefer calling. If he was sat a little bit shorter, then I'm probably just raising, getting it in. Ooh, let's go. Let's hope he has pocket tens. Gonna start betting. We want to start betting to be charging. I mean, check back is definitely good some of the time as well. But betting this flop is, is gonna be charging like his his two overs, which are still gonna be calling. Probably probably just continue on this turn, I suppose. Also, uh, we're putting our last blinds in there. Oh, let's go. Wow, how am I running so well? Come on. Back to the uh, the 1.5k. We are just out, and I'm not going to be re-entering this one. It is a big tournament, but yeah, expensive one as well. And we shove, hope for calls. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. Are you, like, I mean, are you kidding me? That is, oh my God, I... I don't know what to say. $800 bounty, and we just have a cooler like that, and then now just sit in short stack again. Just gonna check back. I will now bet turn now, just don't want him like giving him a free random club for the sake of it. Like if he literally had like six five with like one club. It actually could just be a, a bet fold. Like, if I bet this and he shoves, it's not nice at all. But yeah, I, I of course still want to be betting it. But like, if he just whacks this in now, I'm going to hate it. What? I don't know what the hell went on there. So we're still sat on a decent stack, but we are outside, well, with our current stack size, outside of the uh, the paid places at the moment, but we've still got a while to go for that. It's not a great table, considering we're on 38 big blinds with, uh, well, 40 blinds with no other shorter stacks than us at this stage in the tournament. I mean, I'm gonna range bet this, of course. Okay, good. Kings. Let's go. Also, I'm limping here with the Jack-10 suited. Interesting. And the limp is actually looking like it's uh, it's getting through. What a flop. Probably just gonna check it over still, but we'll happily get it in. Back to the, uh, the Kings. <sighs> to be honest, I actually think maybe a shove looks weaker. I don't know, yeah. May actually just rip this one. And I'm gonna, uh, just gonna get it in on the flop. Snap calls, don't be aces. Queens, let's go. I know a queen is coming. Literally, it's coming on the river too. I don't even wanna look. Oh, I'm so, that was so scary. Yes, nice, we get the, uh, the flop shoved through. The thing is, the reason I did that is because, well, I had outs, but 
the way I played it, it just looked purely like aces. Like I really think even with our bounty, we probably just folded out a pair because when I'm like limping off 10 big blinds, he bets and I literally shove on that flop. What have I got? Aces, aces every time. But no, we had Jack 10 suited. Talking about aces, I've literally been on like five big blinds this whole time. I've just keep, when I get very low, I just keep doubling up. Here, I'm, I'm not gonna bother just like calling because he's never folding um, when he opens and we have six big blinds. So I may as well just get it in. I mean, the money's going in regardless. It's not gonna make a difference if I call here or whether I shove. Chucks. Nice. We are back up to 13 blinds in the 250. Could we get another deep run going? Certainly a decent flop for, for 9-10. Gonna put like a decent sized bet in. Should be able to fold out a lot of stuff. I was gonna go either way here. I think the approach is definitely check back or going for a biggish sizing. Don't love the fact he calls. I still uh, think we continue big here. Should be able to fold out all his sevens. Some weaker jack axes maybe even gonna be folding out now. Ace on the river. Uh, here we are shoving in the, the 525. Actually kind of want to be called at this point. No, we don't. <sighs> this is a big spot. I think like a lot of his pocket twos, pocket sevens would probably just shove turn. I think we're up against Jack X. Come on, fold. If we win, then this is a massive pot that we pick up. The ace on the river, like, I just had to bluff this. Come on! That's such a big one to win. <sighs> Flop the nuts in the 525. Let's hope he has something. It's, yeah, probably as bad turn card as it can get. However, I do expect a lot of raises from like his queen nines, queen jacks on this board, his hearts also. So I would expect us to be good almost all the time still. Snap folds, yeah, it didn't look as though he was overly strong. We've got queens in the 525 with a 10 big blind stack in the big blind. Come on, let's hope he calls and then like just hits top pair and we just have the over. Or even better, if he just wants to rip it in pre-flop, feel free, mate. Suppose I just go a blind. He's gonna shove his like fours and then just hopefully induce some draws to shove. Other than that, it's yeah, it's quite limited. We just gotta hope he has something, as long as that something isn't a six. <laughs> Come on, shove, shove your draw. Yes, he just rips it. And surely this is just hardly ever, ever just like a six if he rips it. Come on, I'd much rather this just be a four than some sort of draw. Yes, it's a four. Let's go. So he just uh, can only hit a four now. And it can't be a four because he blocks it. So $718 bounty. And somehow we've gone from in this top. Well, we had a big stack and then we lost quite a lot. And we were left on, I can't even remember, but a very short stack. And now we're back up. And we've uh, picked up some more bounties as well. Let's go. I don't want to be playing any huge pots when we're getting very close to money, but I wouldn't mind playing a huge pot with spicy sausage if he just wants to shove. Well, we get a call and, you know, unless he just has like a random quads here, we've almost always just got the best hand. He can still call his like pocket tens, pocket jacks, I suppose. But yeah, it's a very uh, good flop for us and you don't expect him to have any bluffs on that board. Back over to the, the 250. Oh, I mean, I think we still have to go for this actually. Like it's, it's not a spot I love, but he's gonna shove all his pocket uh, pairs lower than eight. So I, I guess we just call off. I don't want a multi-way all in, that wouldn't be good. But hopefully now he folds out like his uh, ace tens and stuff. Ace queen, okay, we're flipping. Big spot in this tournament. And it's not a spot that it looks like we're gonna be winning. Close to big money as well, which is, yeah, 
annoying and it has happened a lot but to be honest I have run well today so I can't complain and I'd much rather get a big run going in the, the 525 than the 250 that's for sure and the 1k nice we see an open we're just going to be uh, raising and happily get it in this is kind of weird though Marquez raises it to, to 3.5 blinds I suppose I just raise it up to 9 and then if he shoves would I just have to fold pocket 10s like close to the money pocket 10s isn't a great hand to have ace high flop this is really not great because there's not a lot that we beat like he's gonna have some ace x and then some of his calling hands are gonna be like nines and eights so he's gonna have some sets well that makes it a lot nicer now kind of a bit of a wet board i'm really tempted to get trappy and check this one back no i think on this board i'm gonna continue betting but i'm gonna continue betting to a small size i feel like this can just induces ace queen type hands just to rip it to be honest yeah he just rips it nines i literally called his hand as well what a cooler unreal and we just hit quads on the river wow that's the thing i was saying i was really not loving that i'm glad he didn't check raise flop because i was going to be folding out because he had some of his like ace queen suited ace x type hands and then he's gonna also have some some eights and nines which are gonna want to raise and get it in against this stack but also call my my raise and hope to flop a set back to the uh the 500 just gonna be straight up ripping ace king 25 bigs no other play here you don't, you don't want to be raising smaller you just want to be shoving this for sure it does look as though he's been on the tighter side so you, you're not going to know his range exactly but theoretically i'm going to expect him to be calling his ace queens ace jacks ace 10 suited so those type hands he's also going to call his pocket pairs that we're flipping against like his his six oh queens wow didn't expect him to be that strong <sighs> five ace king i've fallen short every time in these spots just close to the final table and it's happened again i haven't been winning those which are the ones which uh you really need to be winning but yeah i'm not complaining because we ran very well in that tournament it's just like a massive shame that puts us in third fourth position and probably going to make the final table if we win that we still have this one going and we've got a big stack so maybe this is going to be our big run so i've opened up the eight seven going to be betting almost everything don't really want to see raises especially when we're holding the seven as well because you expect him to raise some of his like nine seven type hands and so if he is raising then perhaps he's he's raising with a 10 so when he starts to lead of course i'm still calling he's gonna have leads with similar hands to what we've got like he can start leading his like a seven type hands eight seven sorry uh the heart on the river isn't good <laughs> i mean I think our hand's too strong to be turned into a bluff. Ace Jack, let's go, come on. So unfortunately Queen Six suited, like if this guy shoved isn't gonna be strong enough to just ISO over the top. If we had like a Queen Ten suited and he shoved, then I'd probably just be ISOing over the top. Pretty good flop. With our kicker, probably just starting off with a call. Cool. With these stack depths. If you do have like a stronger kicker, generally prefer raising. Queen six suit, it definitely wouldn't be like the, the worst hand to raise. But I kind of just, he's quite a, an aggressive player, so I probably prefer him to just uh, bluff it off, really. Suppose still just uh, cool. <clears throat> That's not the river card I wanted to see. <laughs> Gonna lead out for a blind. He calls. <laughs> Good river card. Right on the money bubble. I suppose we just rip the 9-6. Don't run into aces, kings or queens, please. Good. Ace deuce. Certainly going to be shoving this one. Don't like the fact he's tanking. Let's hope he's not tanking and uh, going to be cooling off. Please fold. Oh dear. I have a feeling he's going to be cooling this one off. Yay, he folds. I guess he was just tanking to see if anyone else busted and then was going to call. Fold if not. Right, come on, Marquez. No, still doesn't shove. 
we've actually made the money now which is well it's good in a way but actually for us it's beneficial to stay on the bubble as long as possible because being big stack it is a point where you can really build up your stack a lot because you can just like shove over the short stacks and just put the short stacks on a lot of pressure close to the bubble really okay we see a shove let's just hope uh hope poker embassy isn't trapping a monster for sure we're just going in for this one he's gonna shove all his ace queens ace jacks poker embassy please do not snap me off here nice we get the fold ace king okay it's a flip nice okay come on just need to fade the ace or king yes 1k bounty and we're yeah chipping up may even be chip leader at this point huge one to win Right, we've got a hand now. I have a really bad feeling here. Again, we're getting close to the final table. This is the point where I've just lost the important all-ins in like every single tournament throughout this series. Let's hope it's not another one. Okay, so he folds. I mean, of course I'd happily be going all-in with Ace-King suited, but yeah, I just don't want another spot where we're just flipping for a huge spot of the final table and just go out again that won't be a nice feeling right so we're still sitting on 35 bigs we've not lost any big pots just not really won any not picked up too many hands at this stage down to oh wow is this the the final table bubble eight out of ten or is this a seven max final table no i, th I think it is a nine max so yeah this is the final table bubble the only problem we have is that there is literally no other short stacks yeah i'm looking at the other table so this guy is the short stack and i'm i'm second so yeah it might be quite a long bubble gonna be checking this one that's big should generally be ahead a lot it's not a good turn card because he is gonna have some big bets with like his jack kings good thing is could also be like a jack queen which he now probably checks back on the turn I'm not liking how this hand's playing out i'm just gonna get out of the way of it would have been a disgusting river and he probably would have put us all in that turn card just wasn't the most favorable for us and he's gonna have a lot of like ace nine ace ten suited sets king jacks like yeah it just wasn't the greatest of spots uh, we're still going to call. Right, ace 10. Get a call from this guy again. Come on, let's just flop the nuts. Right on the bubble, please. I mean, I asked for the nuts and I got pretty much that. What can I be worried about? Fives and fours, and that's it. And you'd think he's probably just shoving. Yeah, he, he would probably just shove his pocket fives and pocket fours. Just going to check over. Hopefully just let him, uh, yeah, let him blast off. He goes small. I, I think I do want to inflate the pot a bit. This guy raises. What the hell? Don't tell me he just has like five four or something. The good thing is, no matter what happens, we have outs. Like, we can't be dead. Um, but yeah, if he has pocket fours, pocket fives, then, uh, and we lose this right on the final table bubble, then, oh my God. I would be gutted. Get the fold anyway. We'll take that. Uh, so, I actually wasn't looking what happened, but we've made the final table. And we've got 30 blinds, so decent amount to work with. We've got two other slightly shorter stacks, but yeah, certainly work to be done. Right, so we're probably going to have our first hand of the final table. Ace 8 offsuit from the big blind. If it folds round and we get a shove, I will be calling this off with his bounty. I'm expecting Vlad to have a very wide opening range here, though. Some of the time, I will mix in a 3-bet with like your, your offsuit Ace X. Okay, so two hearts on board, the eight as well. I was gonna say if he bets, I'm probably gonna be raising this one. Like our hand would have been a, a very good one to raise flop with, but now we're just gonna be checking. Okay, so spike the eight on the river. Let's hope he just checks back an ace high. An 
I mean, this does just seem very 9x heavy. But then again, he is going to have some hands. I don't know. I really think this is 9x heavy, but... <sighs> Cold it. I... Uh, I should just go with my reads sometimes. It's just like... I felt like I just had to call, but at the same time, I just, I just knew it was going to be a 9. Right, so King 9. Don't love it, but of course, the opening from the bottom. It's kind of, he can have some donk leads. Wouldn't surprise me if he starts betting, especially when he's big stack. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, I'm probably calling, but I just think we can just get in trouble on future streets. Just going to get out of the way of it. It's probably betting that turn big as well. Right, let's go. Big hand. Okay, it folds around to the big blind. I mean, kind of would... Just get all folds. I was just about to say as well. I'd rather just get to... Oh my God, would have hit top set as well. Would have rather be uh, getting a double up. Like that would have been huge at this stage. Because we are only sitting on 20 odd blinds. It's a shame Victor with his 3k bounty didn't wake up with anything as well. Let's go. Come on. Aces. Right. I don't want to repeat it the last time where we just had kings and we got complete folds round from the whole table. Let's get some action. Come on. If I get three bet, I'm probably just going to get it in because I don't expect barely anyone to have any three bet. Are you kidding me? Aces, kings. And we just get snap folds every time. Ah, <sighs> man. Ace Queen at least, but I don't feel as good getting it in with Ace Queen as I did with Aces or Kings. I like the fact it's folded around to the big blind now. What is going on? Just am I just picking up good hands and just getting absolutely no action with anything? Sevens. Debatably sevens can be folded at this point. Wow. Everyone just folding everything. It seems as though I'm the only one that's actually picking up any hands. Okay, we're playing for a bounty. Let's go. So the one time I actually get some action, we just get it all in against nines. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Right. I guess this is going to be it. We are short in chips. Probably close. Definitely don't love this. Oh, I suppose we've got to go in for this. Come on. It's literally just ridiculous. Well, I've ran well in this tournament, of course. You have to, to make the final table. But just time and time again, I just get there and then just take a bad beat or just have a setup like that. It's just really is quite demoralizing. I mean, was eight too loose there as a shove? I'll have to see. I think it was probably quite close, but not that that changes the fact that we just ran into aces. So yeah, I can't really be too annoyed with myself. At the end of the day, just unlucky spot again at the final table. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be. Nevertheless, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.